This is Sean with the Prepared Homestead and today's video is going to be on energy efficiency and I'm using a tool here it's called this one is particularly called a kilowatt all it is is a, a power meter uh, there's lots of different kinds of power meters in fact I'll, I'll link to one uh, for you here on this video um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to take, take a look at certain appliances and determine which ones are just fine to keep plugged in and which ones you should unplug because they're constantly drawing power. Uh, you can use this tool for many different things. You can find out what type of voltage is coming out of your system. It should be 120 or very close. Uh, amps, watts, and even kilowatt hours. So you can do something like determine how many kilowatt hours does it take, for example, to make beef jerky. So you're gonna start your dehydrator or whatever you're using if you're doing electric and you're going to monitor it the whole time and you can get an exact amount of, of uh, kilowatt hours you're using to make beef jerky for example so let's take a look at this so we're going to do an experiment here all right so we have we have a coffee grinder and we have a, a hot water heater here and so what we do is we plug in our kilowatt and for, for today's purposes we're just going to look at watts okay that's all we're looking at we're not going to talk about amps or hertz or kilowatt hours or anything else we're just going to talk about watts which is just the power the amount of power it uses it's actually voltage times current all right so we take a look at the the kilowatt it says zero right there so let's determine uh let's determine if any of these appliances are are drawing power okay just just by sitting there all right is the hot water heater drawing power no it's not excellent all right how about the coffee grinder the coffee grinder that we use for about 20 seconds every day that's it 20 seconds every day all right so you can see it's pulling eight watts eight watts so so this coffee grinder is constantly drawing power and it's a, it's an appliance that we use for literally 20 seconds a day maybe 40 seconds a day if we're talking um, with, with guests or something like that this is something you definitely want to to unplug now let's take a look at these in use okay so again it's drawing eight watts all the time and I'm just gonna run this just real quick okay as you can saw, see there it was about 150 watts it's actually pretty low it doesn't take a lot of wattage to to run this and so uh, in, in a follow-on video I'm going to be using the battery bank and we're going to talk about what appliances are appropriate to use in your battery bank and which ones you should try and avoid okay all right so that's the coffee maker and we're going to keep this unplugged because it's constantly drawing power now you might say seven watts that's not a lot that's hardly anything however um, that's like running an LED light bulb all the time okay so we don't want to do that that's just that adds up over time that's that's that can and, and then you multiply that by 20 different appliances now all of a sudden you've got quite a bit of power you're you're using without using if you know what I mean okay so let's take a look at this real quick we got the hot water heater again this is perfectly fine to keep plugged in but let's let's turn it on and let's see what a hot water heater uses all right so as you can see it's all the way up to about 1250 or so watts that's quite a bit that's quite a bit now we turn that off and it's going to go back down to zero and like i said this is a, a particular appliance that is fine to keep plugged in but it uses a lot of wattage so if you're if you're talking battery banks now you're talking something that's going to draw it down pretty quick and you also have to determine okay how long do i use this appliance each day that's a big factor as well all right and we'll talk again we'll talk about that in a later video all right let's let's go over here real quick let's see if a toaster oven let's just look at this toaster oven this is the last thing we're going to look at today uh, again we're going to just deal with watts right here does the toaster oven draw power just by sitting here and no it does not draw power okay it's a toaster oven pretty simple but let's um let's look and see how much power it pulls when it's being used and you might say okay toaster oven what's well, better you know you got a microwave microwaves use, use about 1500 watts depending on the microwave some of them are a little less than that so this must be less than that right it's a toaster oven okay let's take a look so let's just turn this on and let's see what this thing goes up to 
All right, there you go. It's it's over 1500 watts. Okay, so now now we, we understand that this appliance right here actually takes quite a bit of power. It takes quite a bit of power. All right, so um, this any type of heating element, whether if we were, we could do the same test with a space heater, a space heater is going to usually use about 1500 watts as well. Anything with a heating element is going to require more power. So then it de it depends on how much time you use that that appliance okay and that that gets into when you start getting into alternative energy and off-grid uh, that becomes a much bigger factor okay so again a simple power meter can tell you a lot of things you can check uh, I'll give you just one I'll talk through one more example and that's usually TVs uh, DVD players all that all those continuously draw power they continuously draw power. You could grab one of these and test it for yourself. A lot of times you, they have those little LED lights on them. And so what do we do? What, especially at night when we're trying to sleep is we'll take pieces of clothing and cover them up instead of just turning them off at a, a power strip um, or a surge protector, you know, whatever you have on that. That's what you want to do. You turn it off at the surge protector or power strip and it will not draw any power. Okay, so that's that's one way to, to save energy. And again, over, you know, I say a single day, we're not talking about a lot of energy, but when you, when you multiply that out and talk about over a year, it's significant savings. Okay, so again, a uh, simple power meter, a good way to, to understand what type of energy you're using and, and save, save money, save energy.